This is the day that Emily and Steve had looked forward to and planned for quite some time. And we are so very thankful that all of you have chosen to be here to celebrate with them and make it even more special for them. At this most joyous occasion, we give thanks and praise to our Lord and Savior for the blessing of family and friends and marriage as we journey on this side of heaven and find wonder in each and every day. Our prayer is that Emily and Steve continue to grow with God at the center of their marriage, taking him through the good times and the bad on the adventure he has planned for them. Congratulations, Emily and Steve. I'm so glad that you have another best friend that will be there literally through everything. Everything. <laughs> I'm so glad that I got to share this day with both of you. So to the new couple. So when Steve said to me that he was going to ask her, I was like, dude, she's so cool. She's so awesome. And he's like, Dude, I know. So here's to, uh, to Steve and Emily, to many happy years, to the happy couple. Lord be with us today during the ceremony and the reception and uh, just let us enjoy it and have fun and make so many memories as we get ready to start our life together. In your name we pray, amen. All right. You got to hold it together. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. See you. okay. my best friend, my everything. Today is the beginning of the rest of our lives together. I started writing these vows in December of 2016, about three weeks after we officially started dating. Does that really surprise you though? But I couldn't wait. I knew that you were it for me, that you were God's plan for me all along, and that someday we would be standing here saying our vows to one another in front of all of our loved ones like we are right now. About a year and a half ago, I gave you what you called your Hallmark movie moment. <laughs> and as in every Hallmark movie, they live happily ever after. And I knew from that moment that we would get ours. I promise to always keep God at the center of our lives. I promise to always try and make you smile, even if you're having a bad day. I promise I will always make you laugh. Today, I'm as you become my queen. I promise to be faithful to you for as long as I live. I love you, Em, and I can't wait to spend that.
I vow to passionately pursue our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ with you daily, keeping him at the center of our relationship, lives, and family, and I vow to lift you up in prayer daily. I promise to try my best to be deserving of the unconditional love that you constantly show me and to make you proud to be my husband. I promise to never forget that this is a once-in-a-lifetime love and to never take you or our lives together for granted. I promise to always hold your hand even when we're 137 years old and wrinkly and to be by your side through everything we will experience in this life together. I vow to be faithful and true to you and only you forever and I promise to fight for our marriage every single day. I cannot promise that we will never face hardships in this life because we will. And I cannot promise that we won't have conflict because we will. But I promise as your wife to persevere together with you. And it will be a perfect life lived with you, pursuing the Lord and each other for the rest of our days. I love you more today than I did yesterday. And I will love you more tomorrow than I do today for the rest of our lives. I hope my life in serving you will say what my words cannot. You are my today and all of my tomorrows. You're God's greatest gift to me. You and I are better together than we ever could be apart, and I cannot wait to spend forever with you, even though forever with you will never be long enough. I love you so stinking much <laughs> with everything I have and with everything I am forever and always.